Hello everyone and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This of course is Neoburg and this is an area where traffic is a little bit of an issue. It's quite a large bottleneck to one of our largest cities, Winsford, and it's long overdue for a bit of a overhaul. Um, to improve the through route and hopefully reduce the amount of traffic that is um, plaguing the area. Um, so without further ado, I think what we need to probably do is take through a one of these main roads. So if we did a road off from here keep this flat and then that will be coming across here that's a very high bridge so maybe we use these and then we can see that's starting to make its way through over here so we're going to have to change things up a little bit here as to how traffic comes into Winsford. And considering this is a main road through, um, it's probably best to upgrade this road and then use it um, going forward for the route through to the other area across the river. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, let me just upgrade that road through there and then from here we need to be going out yes that will cause a little bit of demolition but that should be fine and then that will just slope round into there and that should then um, provide quite a good connection through to the other area um, for a lot of these lines that were coming through here um, they can now use this we will keep this old uh, historic route through um, but we'll probably need to sort of connect this up a little bit here just so that it can go the other way um, I also don't really like how this is so sudden of a connection or a bend here so let's just change that up a little bit and then hopefully that will start to take um, a lot more traffic through that way without the um, issues that we we've been having up till now so if we just connect this up a little bit, then potentially it will that is a lot of slope. But yeah, hopefully this will um, improve the traffic through to Winsford and it provides a faster route through as well. Um, what we potentially could do is uh, improve a route through down to say Littlehampton and what have you, but I don't think it's really necessary. We've still got this main route through here, which is doing a very good job of providing stuff to um, providing a connection down that way even um, we can potentially hook up food and goods here so if we go into the line here and change this out for one of these Again, changing it so that it's no longer bricks. 
Uh, we probably need to change the numbering on these lines, but for now we'll just leave it as is. Um, so if you literally just pick up the last six, that would be perfect. And then over here, it's probably worthwhile removing the one off the main road here. Um, so what we can do is provide a bit of a route through Winsford, which will probably be much better for delivering things to where they need to go. So does this cover the likes up here? Not really. So if we were to remove that, that's going to complain, which is absolutely fine. We're going to remove that one. We're going to take it through the new route around Winsford. And then hopefully that will provide more um, goods and, uh, well, it'll provide uh, bricks, machines and tools straight away. Hopefully we can get goods hooked up eventually. Um, for now, it's absolutely fine just doing that. Um, Winsford is quite a large city. It is one of our larger cities. Um, in fact, it's dropped down a little bit because probably these other ones have grown so much. But Winsford is still quite a large city. So hopefully having a lot better connections up this way will help Winsford to... Um, continue to grow and uh, get transport down here. We of course have our bricks line here which is working fairly well. It's not receiving much from there. Again this is having issues. I think what would be best is if we change these up so if we change five of these vehicles to be the BRs, and we're going with off-white, aren't we, for these, because they're carrying, like, stone. So if we take that down to maybe good... I mean, we could use those other Euro jewels. Um, which would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? And then we'd probably be able to push this up even further. Well, way further. Um, if anything, it's a bit of overkill because we can't... Oh, there's not too much more than uh, the 320 limit that we can put on there. So let's upgrade those. We'll get rid of these other ones. Um, that's absolutely fine. Hopefully uh, that should allow us to move a lot more because these are bigger um, vehicles now. We just have to ensure that hopefully these are all shipping It's always this one that we have problems on, isn't it? It always wants to go down this way to Littlehampton rather than anywhere. Oh, that's going to be a bit of an issue. We haven't actually extended this yet. Alright, let's extend all of these. I forgot we didn't do this, or we didn't, um... update this. Will that fit? That is the question. Yes, 
I think that fit properly. Um, truth be told, if we could extend this, we could fit more down that on that train on that train line. Um, because these ones aren't really affected by how long they have to be because they're all through lines. Yes, they're going to be slower at loading on these additional tracks, but it should mean once it gets through to like here, it pulls through that little bit extra that we need. So maybe we do that. So that would be just removing this bit and extending it. Um, Possibly we could do that. So how many more can these take? So they can go up to 378 meters, which is pretty lengthy. Um, if this is currently 320 meters, I would imagine it's maybe like two extra. Let's give that a try. So we're going to need to delete this road, which is absolutely fine. It's not a problem at all. So if we try... Two extra, and then put. Uh, maybe we just do three extra to be safe. We've got the space here, and then we would need the cargo platforms between them, and also on the outsides. It's pretty crazy. We could even just connect up this here. Um, I don't know whether it would necessarily connect to anything, though. No, I don't think that's going to quite reach. No, it's not going to reach over here. That's absolutely fine. Well, that is a long train station. So, if we... It's probably easier just to change them out, isn't it? Hopefully it doesn't cost us too much. It might actually be too much. So 54 million, there we go, let's see how those do, these are some very long trains now, but I reckon it will really help with um, some of the cargo needs that we have. Especially on the other end of the track. It may even reduce some of the cost considering we've gone from running like 11 vehicles down to 5. Although I doubt it. I wonder what speed these can get up to now. Hopefully still 99 mile an hour. So it's approaching 70. to slow down for that bend which is a bit of a shame but hopefully it shouldn't have an issue picking up cargo here I mean even though it's off the end loading speed 8.85 that should be fine 
and we're already starting to take the excess cargo that was here through so once these really how fast is that one going 44 mile an hour it seems so much faster probably because we've got it on <laughs> three times speed um we could potentially extend some of these as well hopefully this is plenty long enough for this train to get in down here 580 stone that's got it looks like it's gonna be more than enough that's perfect oh look at that we could even take probably one off but I won't um, and all that stone's gone now well, it's going over. It's probably going to have to stop there. Oh, it just slowed it down. That's fine. And considering these aren't shipping the full 400 yet, there's room for these to grow, which is perfect really, because we do have them connected to all of the um, possible stops. So uh, it may well be a case of as the cities grow, um, that gets used a lot more we start to get fuel through here. Yes, we are. Awesome. That's pretty, pretty cool. This one could do with another one of these long ones. Considering we've got... Oh, we had a whole load waiting, but... It's gone now. Cool. That is working really well. How's Winsford doing now that it's had a chance to run through a little bit? Yeah, stuff's preferring this route through, which is perfect because it's a bit of a faster route. Let's just upgrade that back to the higher speed roads. Uh, hopefully we will start to see these come through here for Winsford. This line's definitely getting busier. Where is that train? They're going up. Okay. Look at all these tools up here. Yeah, we definitely need to um, improve this. So what we'll do is we will extend these platforms and then we will upgrade this train so that we can hopefully make more use of everything here uh, let's make it that off greeny gray brown uh, greeny brown color and almost yellowish uh, and then we want the box cars on there take them up to medium In fact, that's already way too far. We need it to be like there. The boxcars are quite long, to be honest. Doesn't tell you the length of them, but you can see here, compared to the gondolas, they're almost twice the size. Let's 
Well, considering the other side has um, a longer platform, maybe we, what we should do is extend this platform out so that it can get used and that this can be everything we need it to be so how far until mediocre 392 meters <sighs> i don't even know if that's gonna fit you know it's on its way up now so We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully it will fit. Here it comes. So, will it fit? Moment of truth. Let's just put it on to two times speed. It's still coming out the tunnel. <laughs> it's halfway down the station. Ooh. just oh wow that's um quite a long train blimey yeah um okay these are still having trouble getting them over there first off it's, it's probably because they're not painted right so let's add a couple more on there as well but that should hopefully provide more of these to um Maplethorpe and Sutton. Um, as for Kesgrave, Kesgrave is also quite busy. And that's literally just going down to one spot. We could probably extend that so that it covers more area. Where is that one? That one's coming in. So if we do it that way, and this way so then before it gets down to there it goes through this one afterwards it goes through this one i don't know whether they're actually using all of these but i'm hoping they are and then the kesgrave ones probably needs a few more so let's just add those on because we need to make sure that we've got the throughput, especially now we've got that super mega colossal train coming through this way. How's this doing? This is currently creating about 100. So not a huge amount. Southwold wants bricks? Coolston wants bricks. Well, Coolston is getting bricks, it should be. Lowton. Lowton wants bricks? We can quite easily do that. And we are. We are providing breaks. That's good. Luton still has a um, throughput issue because these are backing up. Is everything getting to where it needs to go in Luton? Maybe not up here. Is that covered? It is. So it should be able to get up there. What if we did a road here? Will that connect? Yeah. Then we could do a stop up here as well. And then if anything grows around here it can get up there with these. That covers this area, this covers this area, this covers this area. We almost need another one down here. Almost. Not quite. They're not getting their bricks. How are they not getting their bricks? We've literally got a bricks factory right next to here. Come on, take some bricks. We need to remove this and make it just cargo. Let's double check the cargo routes. So, uh, cargo road one Alfred. 
to Bawtree. In fact, we already have two, don't we? Two, 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 and then five, six, seven. Uh, oh. So if we made this one four, and this one maybe three. And we could do this one as eight. No, we've already got an eight. Number nine. Uh, Ilkley would be number ten. Alford can be number eleven. Right, let's make that one. No, hold on. One, two, three, four, four. Uh, okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one's number 11 then. We got a lot of those just generic cargo lines now, which is good. Um, it looks like we're taking some bricks, which is also good. Let's just bump that up to 10, make sure that it's got the throughput that it needs because we're constantly getting more and more stuff down here. And Loton on its own. Is growing. Which is nice. It's good to see that Loton is getting all of its needs apart from goods. Um, not quite all of its machines though. We could probably do with another machines and a goods factory being brought online. Got a few machines down here. And that would be good for hooking in, um, potentially even down here. That is a lot of oil, uh, fuel even. Uh, is this our fuel vehicle? Yeah. Let's swap this out for one of the larger ones. So make it a BR. I'm going to make it that colour because that's the colour of fuel. Um, I know it's the not, not the colour of the line. How far till mediocre? 283 meters, that is perfect. Hopefully that will help everything move. Oh, we haven't put a vehicle on this one. Where's our depot? There's our depot. Let's change those to those ones. And then make them that colour, put it on number two for Alfred. Then hopefully that Alfred line will start to move through. Got a lot of vehicles on the first one for Alfred. I don't know if it's really necessary. That train is going back full with 320 fuel. Which is fantastic. How are we doing over here? Fully operational. This one's getting on, uh, it's on level two, so it's going up to level three. 
Uh, this should help the transport to Dover and Littlehampton. And we probably already have quite a lot of fuel there that needs to shift. Let's add another four vehicles here. Ah, this is the only problem. They're full. Waiting for other things. But once they go through, hopefully we should be able to... Oh! We've just gotten some tools come through. That's perfect. This is working really well. Oh, wow. The Alfred line has a lot of tools on it. So we need to upgrade this line. In fact, let's make it the tools color. Why not? Um, a BR carrying box cars. The box cars are going to be difficult because they're going to be longer than the station. So they'll have to be something like that. So let's put another one on there as well just to make sure that gets moving. How are the charts here? Loaded, unloaded. Got a lot of demand for taking tools through for, for Alfred. I'm surprised we don't already for Burglar Marsh. Maybe it's because we have a few more of these vehicles on there, so it's a more... Um, regular shipment. What is this one? Going to Alfred? Where's it go? There and there. I don't think it should be doing that because we already have Alfred set up. Yeah. We should leave that to that one. It's literally just going to the same places. Right. Shelve that lot. Remove that. That can come through this line in future. Hopefully it has the capacity to do that. This is quite a uh, busy train. Maybe we need a bit of a better connection here, considering we um, have our connection to the um, public transport section here. I'll tell you what we can do. We can do a connection out the back. This will just connect into this other line somewhere here. And then all of a sudden, a lot of that's going up that way. It should only really be stuff going through for um, Alfred, uh, Burglar Marsh that goes that way then. and line's pretty busy. Let's keep it moving there. There we go. The transport start, should start to go up. 
now that we're getting more stuff through. would say this is going really quite well um, I mean I don't want to jinx it or anything but it is doing quite well and that's just gone up to level 3 so obviously we're getting the fuel to where it needs to go um, yeah I'm gonna leave this one here um, we've done quite a lot in this episode to improve the train lines and what have you especially considering we've probably got a lot of tools coming through via uh, the boats now um, hopefully it can keep things moving and um, things don't get bogged down because of that but it looks like West Ham's definitely busy this one's busy. Let's uh, obviously because they weren't painted, that was affecting it a fair bit. But if we add more vehicles to these lines, considering they both need quite a few different things. I mean, West Ham hasn't quite grown yet. West Ham's tiny, actually. It's only 200 people, but it has such like quite a strong demand for things that's I didn't realize that um, Wow um, but yeah I think I'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for watching hopefully stuff just keeps flowing through um, how are these consumers doing Ilkley's only getting 95% maybe we need more vehicles on the Ilkley line sorry I will wrap it up in a minute. In fact, let's just double it because that can take everything. Um, yeah, I am super chuffed to bits with how things are going. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the episode, the series too. Um, if you are, then let me know with your thumbs. If you're not, equally, let me know with your thumbs. Um, but other than that, uh, if your thumbs don't quite cut it, then let me know with a comment down below and um yeah until next time have a good one. thank you so much for watching and cheers bye bye